What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I'm bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it's against the South Korean clan at level 9 uh, named Crystal. Uh, they gave it the best 60 60 attacks, you know, had a handful of three stars. Um, was sort of an interesting war. Uh, Invicta came away with the 10 star victory, so nothing crazy, but. Um, you know, you look here, they did have 14 three stars, so not too bad job for them. Uh, did use 60 60 attack, so uh, gotta give respect to that. Um, nice try. How many? Uh, let's check their 233 wins, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's around what 2, 2.0 has. What does Invicta have? Yeah, Invicta kind of restarted there um, a little while back. I'm not 100% what happened, but um, I know 2.0 has around 230 wins. Um, don't know off the top of my head, but uh, so hey, good for them. They gave it the best. Invicta showed them what's up though, and ran the board. Got a th10 triple. Uh, missed that one th11 there. Only got a one star, but two to everything else. And three all the content below. So beautiful job, gentlemen. Uh, hats off uh, and ladies, I should say, because uh, QC is definitely in there, right? <clears throat> um, let's. Kick this off by checking <laughs> Robaz's uh, sort of bully attack, I guess. Um, it's hard to judge. I guess TH, TH11, don't get me wrong. It's it's crazy uh, what they got. Because uh, you're going to see this. Um, I don't believe, like, it, it. you can never imagine a Town Hall 10 hitting a 10 like this being easy. And I know it's supposed to, it's not supposed to be easy, right? Like, supposed to be a similar bully style um, as it is 10 versus 9. However, <clears throat> and again, I'm not there, so this doesn't necessarily count for much, but I will say this. It seems like uh, the difference in a Town Hall 10 bullying versus bullying a max Town Hall 9 is not about the same as an 11 bullying a 10. 11 bowling at 10 seems substantially easier. Maybe I'm wrong, but to me, it just seems like you bring a bunch of witches. Um, you kind of figure out what, you, no, no offense to robots here by any means, because this queen walk is looking pretty sexy at this point. Um, but uh, th that's all I'll say in a nutshell is town hall 11 bowling 10 seems easier to do than 10 bowling nine. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, could be wrong. I'm not there. Maybe some of you Town Hall 10s out there can throw your feedback on that. That would be fantastic. But uh, that's my opinion as of now. Because uh, it does look fairly easy to just queen walk half the base and then spam a bunch of witches with your warden. <laughs> maybe. The, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know, double multis. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely no way a Town Hall, without that Grand Warden there, there's no way that would be as successful as a Town Hall 10 going in there with witches, especially because Town Hall 10s don't get the max witch upgrade, which I think is also retarded. Um, anyhow, is what it is. Here's Town Hall 11 pulling Town Hall 10 right now, just beasting through this base robots. <laughs> the 40 queen is in there. Unspent ability and the base is half done. Love it. Witch is in there, ripping things up. Rage is in there, full health golems. Like... <laughs> just destroyed this town hall 10 basically max town hall 10 <laughs> man I, I don't know i don't want to use the word broken but <laughs> we'll use the word favorable <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's pretty much clean up gonna speed this one up a little bit I generally won't show bully attacks, but uh, since Town Hall 11 is a new thing and I don't really get to show much, I, I generally will like to show uh, TH10 triples from these Town Hall 11s. And please, no disrespect, Robots, I'm not saying this is easy. I'm just saying it seems easy, It seems easier than a 10 bullying a 9. Um, maybe that's just me, though. So, three stars in the bag. Twos on all the 10s. I love it. I also love QC's hit here on number eight. Very standard Shattered Lalo. Uh, I've gone over this before in some videos. Uh, QC exemplify, exemplifies this beautifully. Just creates the funnel, drops the golems in, do some tanking. Once the funnel's created, he's going to open up this wall. 
jump over to the queen, get two air defense, the queen, and yank that CC out and deal with it. If you can manage that, you have a huge success, huge success of getting a three star versus a nine because the base is severely crippled at this point. QC gets more because of the 30 30 heroes. <laughs> they just freaking beast into this base. But look at this guy, you know, level 25 king. I didn't manage to see what level the defensive queen was. Um, but still, come on, like just ripping through this base. Down goes that second air defense I was talking about. The queen's still in there with her ability full health. She's going to take out that TH. Uh, king finally goes down. But the base is, you know, 40% destroyed, two air defense down. Uh, I believe got both sweepers. Uh, like, yeah, just huge, huge value on that entry. You can get two, two air defense, the defensive queen, and pull that CC out and deal with it. Um, you're you're looking fantastic against the ma most max down all nights. Like this this base almost all lava walls. Like I just said, twenty five king. I didn't see what the queen was ahead of time, but she's high too. So you know, rocking through this base. Thirty thirty heroes do help, but QC just <laughs> look at that full health lava hound, and it's cleanup time. QC beautiful. I said it before. Town hall nine will miss you, girl. Cheers to that. Tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. Number nine. Life is a joke. Just, <laughs> this is our 17. He steps up. You got a six star war against nine and 10. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, 2024 heroes versus, uh, you know, nothing crazy. These guys, what level is that queen there? I can't read that. 20. Um, so, you know, nothing to create, no, no third max heroes versus like 15 or 20 heroes. Uh, it's fairly even. Uh, poison goes down. Nice uh, nice job just taking that lure. Poison that dragon. We're going to fast forward that a touch because that dragon just dies like a sucker. And in go the golem. Shattered entry. This is basically a shattered goho. Just standard one jump, three heals. The one thing I liked was the Valk. We're going to zoom in just a little bit for this because I want to see what this one Valk does. <laughs> um, I watched the replay. This it caught my eye when I was looking for what replays to show. There it is. Here's the Valk. Let's follow this Valk. See what happens to this one Valk and see what the value is. Okay, so DGB. That's not a good start because the Valk's almost dead. <laughs> she took three shots from the Queen and just died instantly after the after the GB. Uh, <laughs> tough one. But hey, she did some tanking. Let that Golem and King live just a little bit longer. So there was a little bit of value there. Didn't really invest a lot into that. So no big deal. I was just interested. As you can see, Hogs going in. Not a lot of spaces for... There's definitely no spaces for double giant bombs and even single bombs. It's lacking in this base. He knows he's got a heal for this little Tesla farm. And there's definitely a bomb remaining in behind this cannon. I'm 99% sure. But the heal is down and the Teslas are dead. See you later, buddy. There goes the bomb I was just talking about. Oh, it's a DGB. I missed that. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Doesn't matter because there's still like 12 hogs ripping through that last Archer Tower and Tesla. Dunzo and it's clean up. Nice job, life. Great six star war, buddy. Futs in that six pack. Tree stars in the bag. See, there we go. Nine and 10. I like that. <clears throat> uh, what else do I have to show here? Bert Dog. I always like to show these newer spell compositions um, after this update and just kind of see really how overpowered is this. So because of the donated earthquake, he's able to bring the four earthquakes with three heals still. No poison though. So that is the key, right? Like that's what you substitute is you're not bringing a poison for the clan castle. But if you remember the good old days, sometimes you could get away with it. I don't know if this was a cleanup attack maybe. I think it must have. Because if he knew he didn't need the poison, it, it's such a, a viable thing to do. Because if it's a lab hound, you don't need a poison. You don't need a lightning. No, it wasn't. So... Maybe it wasn't a cleanup, but regardless, if your queen is in there, if you know you're gonna, she's gonna be standing right underneath those clan castle troops, and 
You can be sure that the Clan Castle troops lock onto your golems. Look at that patience. That uh, elixir store is there is the breadcrumb. The dragon's dead. Really, there's just that balloon, which, look at this. Look how much it's going to take off these Valks, even under the heel. It sucks. So it took like a quarter of their health, but they're under the heel, so they're going back up, which is good. If it was the double balloon drop, that means one balloon drop. One drop from the two balloons is going to bring your box down to 50% health with one smash. So they cannot last long under balloons, guys. I'm telling you, there has to be some sort of security measure if you're going to send box in under balloons. It has to be a poison down so they only get hit once and then a, a heal shortly after. Or, you know, something like something like this, right? Like they got the one shot off, but the queen was right there. All the trash was cleared out and uh, Bird had planned for that. What I also thought was cool about this raid... Look at the small amount of hogs. He loses three hogs to that spring trap, which is huge for this guy's defense because now there's only four hogs on that air defense. He sends in a few. He was so patient and waited till everything kind of moved up and surgically kind of sent in and surrounded this Tesla with maybe three, five, eight hogs left. He loses, I think, one more to Skelly's. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hogs I think he's got left. Maybe eight. Eight hogs. So, uh, <laughs> beautiful patience on the hogs, man, because those are literally your only uh, cleanup troops other than this wizard and minion that you put on either side, which was also a smart move. So, really sexy attack, Bert Dog. Just enough by the skin of your teeth. Tree stars in the bag. All right, I got one more for you. Um, there were threes all the way down. Really nice job, guys. Sorry if I didn't uh, show one of your attacks, but she's getting late. Uh, 16. Skip. Skip's been with Invicta for quite a while now, and he is just awesome. Uh, you know, almost max heroes here. Uh, Skip is just a BC. Almost always, I swear, every attack of Skip's I show is a queen walk. Um, you know, so... <laughs> Swarm guys, if you're ever looking for advice on queen walks, hit Skip up and Invicta. I'm telling you, he knows what he's doing. So it's gone ahead, uh, created a funnel at the 12 o'clock. Interesting placement of the queen. I probably would have placed her up just to make sure that Builder's Hut dies. I guess with the, <laughs> the extra 30 seconds, who gives a crap about the Builder's Huts in the corners because it seems to never matter anymore. But <laughs> that's just my uh, hashtag bitterness towards the update. Um... But you're going to get great value. I, I really like he recognizes it's just going to follow all the way along. He drops this minion down. He's just having super good patience. Still hasn't dropped a spell, anything. So now she's going to be hit and taking a few hits. Expo locks on. So her health starts going down. Drops the hog in to get the lure. And so patient on that ability. Almost right till she's down. Hits it finally. Um, would have been nice if the queen had locked onto her there too. Uh, but it doesn't matter. So rage goes down. And I didn't like how this worked it must, must have scared him for the queen walk because that dragon takes out all the healers <laughs> bam see you later uh so that was definitely not planned for but the cc is dead this whole side of the base is dead and the, the entry is made right like the funnel's made king's gonna walk right in there golem's gonna even go in behind maybe a touch late on the golem but even a witch in there to help out so uh has completely now closed off this walk the jump spell was also a little late, so the king unfortunately goes for a walk. It doesn't matter because his queen's in there and that witch. All the skeletons on that queen, they take her down. Golems are in there doing the tanking, so it's no big deal. It actually almost works out better because his king <laughs> walks out and starts tanking these defenses, and the hogs go in and just take everything out. Seriously, my cat is so annoying. The cat gets in the way. So be it. I'm almost done this recap anyways. <laughs> But she's not, actually. I'm impressed. <clears throat> so, anyways, multiple hogs. Like I said, this king has been just doing tanking, and he's been doing cleanup. So, you can drop a whiz behind. I know the whiz is going to safely just rock through all this stuff. There goes that whiz there. Remember that builder set up there? It is still alive. I'm pretty sure it turns out to be the last uh, building alive. Uh, all the hogs are now working their way up to this last test, the last mortar. Air defense is down. See ya later. Nice job, Skip. Beautiful attack. Oh, it wasn't. All right. Tree stars in the bag. Again. Nice job, guys. This is kind of like an omen, I think.
Invicta has a arranged match versus Crystal Warrior this weekend. Uh, so good luck, first of all, guys and gals. QC. <laughs> um, when uh, when you get a match like this, kind of the week of, it makes you think. And uh, nice ten star victory. So hopefully this is a good omen. Uh, gonna call it a night though, guys. I'm really tired. Had a long day at work. Actually, I had to quit my job today because I got a new job. Um, so hopefully it works out. It's always kind of scary taking a new job. You don't know how the people are gonna be or how it's ran until you actually get there, right? Can we, yeah, see, I know her tail is right in the middle of that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> calling it a night here. That does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.